messenger and what he what they both give you. Uh, so, do you uh, agree with this? I'll just wait for your response, or you can raise your hand if you want to take the microphone. Um, the reason why I chose Islam is because their respect for the women, their respect for their children, and their how the man treats his woman while she, while the westernized world, she has to get up every morning and run to work and just think about constantly earning money. But in Islam, all the woman priority is taking care of her husband, taking care of her children, and she dresses very very nicely she doesn't have to show any flesh she doesn't have to prove anything she is who she is she doesn't have to convince anybody else that she's somebody else there's no pretense which you guys are just straightforward um, that's the reason why I, I chose Islam basically just to be they're just unique women that's the reason Yes, I agree with you. Um, the Muslim women, they're the most beautiful women in the world. Um, I was trying to tell you about the Shahada. The Shahada it is what you do in order to become a Muslim. And the way that you become a Muslim is that you testify that nothing is worthy of worship. No object, no person, no deity. Nothing is worthy of worship except God Almighty. So uh, do you agree with this, that nothing is worthy of worship except God? Okay, and do you believe that Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe that Muhammad received the divine revelation? Great, alhamdulillah, and the praise is due to God. Uh, so basically, how you become a Muslim, how you enter the fold of Islam, is that you agree to listen to God and you agree to listen to his messenger. Uh, you, you testify that nothing has the right to be worshipped except God, and that Muhammad is his messenger. And thereafter you establish the prayer. I can teach you how to pray. Um, so let's let's take the first step. Um, if you're ready right now, I'll tell you how to say it in Arabic and then I'll repeat it with you in English. Okay. Uh, I'm going to type it out and say it for you. I'll say it a few times so that you can hear it and then respond by taking the microphone and repeating after me. Ash Hadu. Ash Hadu. Ash ha do. Ash ha do. Ah uh, 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 ah ah ash hadu uh, ash hadu good and la and la and la 
and plus ilaha 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 illa allah illa allah illa allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu wa ashhadu ana muhammad ana muhammad ana muhammad sorry abduhu 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 wa rasuluh wa rasuluh wa wa rasuluh I bear witness I bear witness that there's no deity worthy of worship that there's nothing worthy of worship nothing sorry what did he say that there is that there is no duty to worship no duty was to see of worship except Allah and i wear and i bear witness that muhammad and i bear witness that muhammad is his servant and messenger is his servant a messenger and allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar god is the greatest uh, god is the greatest and uh, there's nothing greater than god uh, this it has taken everything that you have done in the past all of your sins everything has been wiped away your slate is clean it's as if you're a newborn baby this enters you into the fold of Islam uh, this makes you officially a muslim and what you have to do now is establish the prayer uh, you believe in god and you believe in his messenger and the next thing is to establish what's between you and your lord by establishing the prayer so oh so, uh, congratulations um there is a few things that you have to do after this and i'll start off by uh, briefly explaining to you what that is uh, when you get free from here uh, i want you to say bismillah or you can just say in english in the name of allah 
meaning take the name of God, and after this go take a complete bath or a shower. Uh, when you get out nice and clean, uh, take some time to get into a part of your home where you're uh, having your privacy and kneel down to the ground, get your knees to the ground and put your forehead and your nose to the ground as well. Uh, prostrate to the ground and call upon your Lord, praise Him, thank Him, ask Him for whatever you, your heart uh, is uh, praying. You can pray sincerely from your heart. Pour out your heart in supplication to God. Ask Him to guide you. Ask Him to bless you with Islam uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, do you follow? Thank you so much, brother, for your help. Um, I feel I feel good. I hope that Allah blesses all my brothers and sisters. I hope that I hope that there will always I hope that there will be peace in Palestine and then there will be no more suffering in this world. I hope that I hope that we all have a peaceful life. And I hope for you that that you have a wonderful wife that will take care of you for the rest of your life. Thank you. Okay. And no, my dear sister that you have to establish the prayer now. This is your first uh, duty as a Muslim. It should be your priority that once you have become a Muslim, uh, the pillars of Islam, which uh, I'm sure you know because you already read, uh, they become an obligation upon you. Um, if you can get to a masjid in your area, go and uh, introduce yourself, tell them. Maybe they can repeat the shahada with you. They can also teach you the prayer. As for online, okay, so go ahead and do that. And when you get back, just uh, PM me and I'll give you the next two steps. Welcome to the family sister. Assalamu alaikum. Is anybody on the mic? I, I don't hear anything. The mail I've rewarded you all for your patience. Uh, inshallah, I've added her to my list and I'll try to keep in touch with her. Uh, and if uh, there's anything that I can do to further help her, I will try my best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.